Hello again, everybody. Well, today we are in an interesting location that a lot of people don't really know about, and it's some way back kind of history. We are right across the street from CHI Memorial. What we are looking at today is basically the beginning of the Sitico Creek, and it starts at this spring. Now, there's kind of a, a split argument about which part it is, but you can see that there's a little creek here, and you can see that there is water running. Now, it is a little overgrown. It is a little overgrown, but it's unmarked. I mean, there's no signs for it, you know, there's no tails for it or anything, but uh, it uh, is one of two branches that form Sitico Creek. And basically in the pioneer days, this was an important water supply in this section. Now we are not too far away from the river, but uh, Indians would use this, pioneers would use this. Uh, there was an important Indian village not too far away from here. And we've got a huge Indian presence. You know, I, I do try to cover stuff, but uh, I'm not going to make it to the Indian mound today although I'd only be able to show you the location of it because most of the Indian mounds have been knocked down by heavy industry out there off of Amnicola. But yeah, so back in the day, um, this is the spring and uh, roughly the original flow went, I don't know, 4th and 5th streets, Kelly and Willow, if you know that, you can look on maps and stuff, uh, and it would go down from a, uh, the junction of Macaulay and Kilmer, maybe, and uh, basically, in the 30s, the Works Progress Administration diverted it, and it joined the other stream in front of what is presently Orchard Knob and uh, unfortunately they put a lot of it into stone ditches so but you can see I mean it is still it is still flowing to this day and it's just a little bit of unknown history of Chattanooga dating all the way back to the Indian days and you can still see little portions of it but I don't think these days that I would want to drink out of it. Anyway, guys, I know it was a short and brief one, but uh, for you pioneer folks and for you really early Chattanooga history folks, I thought you guys would get a kick out of checking this place out. Anyway, like always, I'm off to go on some more journeys. So until then, why don't you go on a journey of your own? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.